Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Have you ever wondered why sometimes you just can't get anything done? Like you've almost given up even though there's really no reason to. Just lack of motivation maybe? Or a change of heart? What if I tell you that if you master self-discipline that you can get things done even if your mind tells you not to? Here are the top ways to master your self-discipline. First, practice the ladder of goals exercise. Start with a small goal that will take you a couple of days to accomplish. It doesn't have to take the whole day. To make it about discipline though, you have to do it at the same time every single day. I'm going to recommend something that may work for most but not all, depending on someone's health. Intermittent fasting has been famous for a couple of years now as a health improvement tool. Set your calendar to fast for 16 hours for three days. You can pick any time you want, but make it work for your schedule with the least distraction. Maybe you just skip breakfast for now and eat lunch once you get to meet your goal, celebrate your accomplishments. Take a couple of break for a day, but no more than two days, and reset your goals to be longer this time. If you continue until you reach three weeks successfully, you have created a habit. So, congratulations. Remember, you can then try to apply this to other goals in your life, and it should work the same. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. When you miss a day, just reset and continue. Life will get on the way for sure, but it shouldn't be a reason to quit. Keep at it and remember, you are teaching yourself to be self-disciplined. Next, find your worst cravings and face it head on. This is another exercise for creating your self-discipline. Listen. Don't go all out on this one. Much like the other exercise, take the small steps until you can accomplish it in larger scales. For example, if you are a chocolate junkie after every meal, then maybe set a goal to miss it for lunch or dinner, a couple of days at a time until you can easily forego having chocolate for that meal. I mean, chocolate once in a while is not bad, but getting to that once in a while habit will take a bit of work. Next, find a new thing to do and just do it no matter what, no matter what your mind tells you. For example, if your morning habit is somewhat loose then set a time to wake up during the week that's sustainable and stick to that time. Place your alarm clock at a dresser across from your bed so that you will have to get up to turn it off. If you are not used to that time, you will be tempted to set a new time and crawl back to bed. This is when you need to probably find something to do that will immediately just get you going. Brush your teeth, splash cold water on your eyes, turn some heavy metal or your favorite tunes, make coffee and other things. Just find something that you can consistently do over and over every single morning. Just like the previous exercises, don't be too hard on yourself. There are days in which you will have a shortage of self-control, it's okay. Just get the right back to it. Next is the rewards program. Add what I call the rewards program to your agenda. Plan to reward yourself or associate a reward to that action if you get it done or accomplished. Maybe you can tell yourself that you will binge watch your favorite season or favorite show on a Saturday if you go to the gym every single day and not take a break. Or have some of your favorite ice cream on a Friday evening 
if you finish a book for that week. I know most of you watching will say, well, what's stopping me from watching my shows and not go to the gym? No one. But remember that the goal here is self-discipline. You must be serious and focused and making a difference to your mindset and habit if you want to develop this sense. Self-discipline begins with a mastery of your thoughts. If you can't control what you think, then you can't control what you want to do. Suffer the pain of discipline or suffer the pain of regret. Ask yourself, what becomes of my greatness 5, 10, 20 years from now? Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.